Uh, senators, did you? for another two or three hours. One of the things that happens, I'm learning, in this job is we get pulled in a lot of different directions. But I do want to say on this, I want to commend the chairman. Uh, the aging committee, my sense is, we want to be your partners. Uh, it, you're putting this in context, that the challenge we face in the 21st century is we are getting old. As a, not in this room, of course, but I mean collectively. <laughs> well, included. In as a, not really. Uh, in the in the country, and and so <clears throat> it really is the question of how we think about the policies that make life possible at the end of the 21st century, when the fastest growing age group is those over 100, and the next fastest is those growing over 90, and those over 80, and so how we think about dealing with that, and it it seems to me. It's a two-pronged strategy. One is we need to treat every child like a gold nugget, polish them up and get maximum value out of them, uh, that, that each of them needs to be able to perform at the height of their potential and kind of move that curve forward if we can. But the other half is to invest every nickel we can in the research that will help us manage our health, our beings, as we age. And so I, I, this is just exactly right. I'm just sorry I can't stay and take advantage of all that you're talking about. You've sparked at least 100 new ideas uh, in here. And I just want to thank the chairman for doing this and say that uh, the leader will scold me well, if I am one minute late. So, um, so I must run. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.